Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I posted and this is mainly because of two reasons. I had the craziest eye infection. I looked like straight out of The Walking Dead. So I didn't feel very confident about putting out content with looking this crazy. And the second reason is that we had to postpone our wedding because of COVID-19 to the next year. And I have to admit that I really struggled with making the decision to finally postpone our wedding. Um, it was originally planned for uh, July, 18th of July, and then we thought about postponing it in, to October 3rd because the situation here in Germany is kind of under control. But then we finally had to make the decision to postpone the wedding um, into next summer. And so I was feeling really down about that and didn't really feel about creating new content. So sorry for that. But um, today what I want to talk about um, actually goes right into the topic of hair. Um, I reviewed the Color Wow Dream Code hair treatment a few weeks back and I was talking about that I was wearing taping extensions and that was mainly because um, the hairstyle that I had planned for a wedding um, was supposed to be like two Dutch fishtail braids and then some loose waves and um, my hair has fallen out like a, like a lot and has gotten even more thin than it already like is naturally so I naturally have very thin hair but now it's even thinner and yeah so today I want to talk about hair loss which um, I think we do not talk about enough when it comes to women losing their hair it's always all about like balding men because it's uh, so much more visible. I wanted to share my story, what I've tried, what I'm recently like have tested and tried and what um, yeah what my experience has been with hair loss, especially hormonal hair loss since I quit the pill about two years ago. So I quit taking hormones, I quit the pill about two years ago because um, I got, talk, got into talking with my girlfriends and many were getting more and more concerned about whether it was good or not good that we all have been taking like these daily hormones for more than 15 years and then as I got more and more into the topic and I have been uh, in a relationship with my husband for 14 years now so by the way I talked about that we had to postpone a well, wedding but we already did like all of the legal stuff so we had our little courthouse wedding um, in November last year so this is why um, yeah <laughs> but back to the topic. So um, I'm uh, I have been in a relationship with my now husband uh, for 14 years, so since uh, 2006. And um, when I decided to quit the pill, that was 12 years into our relationship, um, and I thought that it was insane that I was still like taking these daily hormones, not knowing how my body does feel without the input of these daily hormones and um, I, I did look into like some of the side effects and I really felt that I was like feeling some of them so um, I at the time I was using the Nuva ring and I felt like um, I was feeling more depressed than I uh, was before and all of that so um, I really got myself thinking on whether it would still make sense to um, still take these hormones every day and then I finally decided to quit all of that and this is when my hair story kind of my hair story kind of started first um, now I want to share with you the current situation of my hair so I'm going to like um, 
pull my hair to the front so that you can see um, it has gotten a tho so so thin I have lost so much hair I've got this baby hair like this one for example all over my head and this is because like as I said when I quit the pill um, my hair started to fall out it looked crazy so um, I'm getting like my hair cut in a few Week, so I always like get my hair cut by a friend of mine and it's in our hometown which is 250 kilometers away so um, it will be in a few weeks but I wanted to share my story with you guys before I'm getting another haircut so you can like fully see how little hair I have left um, so it always has been fine and thin but now if I'm like I will I will show you. I put it together like in in one one strand and now here you can see that this tiny amount of hair is all I have left. So this is my hair truth at the moment. It's very thin and the ends uh, have to go so I'm thinking about like cutting it till here to like get rid of all of the the uh, loose and, and, and broken ends but it looks this crazy because um, we didn't cut it last time as I was getting the tape and extensions and I really like that um, but it was just for the wedding so I wanted to have like more volume more um, more hair to work with and uh, for the look to to be the the type of look that I wanted to create so um, I took all the extensions out I have to get used to the fact that this is all I have left and um, now I'm focusing on regrowing uh, like healthy and, and a little more yeah, sturdy hair. In the beginning uh, when I quit the like taking hormones um, my hair didn't like fall out right away but it was just a process. And I realized it only a few months after I quit the pill when my husband started to com complaining more and more about all of my hair lying around the house and he has always been annoyed with my hair being all over the place um, but I, I realized it had gotten like more and more intense not only my hair loss but also his complaining and um, so I, I started to analyze and look at my head and look at the amount of hair that I was losing and um, yeah I didn't like make the connection like right from the beginnings. So the first thing I did was I went to the drugstore and I got myself some biotin because this is like what we all know is an ingredient which is good for hair growth and your nails and your skin but what I didn't know was that biotin can break you out like crazy so I started to take the biotin and um, I didn't like see a whole lot of changes in my hair or on my nails but um, as you all know taking these kinds of supplements it takes like a long time for you to see any any kind of results but what I realized was that I had like this crazy skin, uh, I've been breaking out, like I had my whole like jawline was covered in zits and I didn't feel great and then I did a little bit of research and then I found that biotin breaks out a lot of people so I quit that. What else did I do? I talked to a dear friend of mine, she's a pharmacist. Um, what I could do and then um, she recommended me to try Priorine or Prioran. It looks like this. Um, I have been taking this for, I think the package is half empty and this is a three month treatment. So I have uh, been taking it for I think almost two months now and this product is supposed to give your the roots of your hair all of the like nourishment that it's that it needs to like regrow so i have been taking these uh, and my friend also said that i should try regain but not the one for women because apparently the one for women at least here in germany it is not as potent as the one for men and so she recommended me using this so I will start that too and I will keep you uh, updated on how I feel about it, how I did like 
uh, or didn't like the application and all of that and if I did see any results from using Regain but um, yeah at the moment I'm just taking uh, the Priorine or Priorin um, and I do have to say that my hair slowly is starting to regrow as I said I have like these short and tiny hairs like all over my head so um, it it seems that I have been losing all of this hair because like my body has been going through these like big hormonal changes after I quit taking the pill every single day so um, just maybe if you are thinking about quitting the pill too then um, just maybe be more prepared than I was because I was freaking out when I first realized that I was losing that much hair um, I was like having all of these nightmares I was gonna be bald or I don't know so don't freak out it can be a normal side effect of the hormonal changes in your body so Finally, I want to share a little bit more about how I feel about all of this hair loss and what I do about it. So first of all, in the beginning, I have to admit I was really devastated. I love my long hair. I have put in so much like effort into grooming my hair and having it grow longer and now it looks like this and it's just like I have to cut off like so much hair to have a hairstyle that will look kind of normal again. I also do love to braid my hair and the braids look ridiculous now. So if I'm doing a braid and even if I'm doing like putting all of my efforts into pancaking the braid and making it as the, or creating the illusion of it being like fluffy. If you don't know what pancaking is, you should definitely check this out. It's the best technique ever to create a more full and fluffy braid. But even if I'm doing like all I can with pancaking, um, my braids still look tiny and um, I have kind of lost my love for braiding my hair and wearing braided hairstyles. Um, also, my husband only has very little hair left on his head and I was always making jokes about that maybe someday I will look just like him, uh, even though deep down inside I was really afraid that th this could become my reality. So um, I also um, talked to uh, another friend of mine who was a doctor and then she uh, explained to me that this could be one of the side effects of me quitting the pill and that we have to look at this and if my hair doesn't start to grow back, which it did, lucky me, um, then we would have to like get my blood work done and check everything out. So I have been feeling really, really depressed about um, me losing all that hair and the way that I look right now so I'm going to change my hairstyle actually I'm going to like wear maybe do even do some some kind of a long bob or something to make it less obvious and um, since we postponed uh, our wedding or we finally had to postpone our wedding um, I don't need my hair to be this long and to blend with the extensions that I was planning to wear on that day anymore. When it comes to that, I can now like chop it all off and like try to start over and try to wear my hair more in a way that it looks more voluminous and more yeah, thicker than it actually is or that it looks like I have more hair than I actually do. What else can we do to deal with the fact that we are losing hair? Talk to your hairstylist about this. Your hairstylist is trained on giving you a haircut that suits you the best. Um, what's also very important is that you might want to check the products that you're using. So try to have like shampoo and conditioner that's maybe silicone free or maybe it's kind of too heavy for your hair and then um, your hair looks like more greasy more quicker and then this makes it even more obvious that your hair is thinning out and um, also styling products can change everything. 
um, as I talked before in uh, the video where I'm mentioning the beauty items that I'm splurging on, hair care and hairstyling products are one of them. So this is a category where I generally tend to um, spend more money and I have found two great products that help me fake more volume and more hair. I have these two products from Paul Mitchell over here and these products were recommended by my hairstylist and um, they are both from the Extra Body line. This is the purple line as you can see here and I have the Extra Body Boost. This is a root lifter uh, for controlled volume. So this is a spray and it's applied to the roots of your hair and it helps to create that little, a little more volume at the root. And then the second product that I use is the Extra Body Thicken Up. This is a thickening styler which builds body um, all over the hair. And this is applied, also applied on damp hair. You just um, get a few pumps and you just um, make sure you have it all over your hair. Then you blow dry your hair and these two make such a big difference in my routine. So um, it helps me to fake more hair because the hair that is already there, especially the thicken up, really helps to, to, to thicken up, as it says, um, the existing hair and to make it seem like there's more hair on my head. And um, I really, really love that. So this has really helped me with dealing with the situation since I know the situation isn't like solved yet so my hair still has to regrow and um, it's still very very fine and I'm still losing a lot of hair but um, this one helps me like fake it it's it's one of these fake it till you make it products so it really builds body and helps uh, me feel a lot more confident about my thinning hair this is it for today everybody I just wanted to share my experience on hormonal hair loss and how I feel about it and what I have like kind of gone through uh, for the last two years because I feel like this topic isn't talked about enough. Um, you will also see like my hairstyle changing uh, and what this um, will look like in a few weeks when I have seen my hairdresser back in my hometown. I really hope that uh, me sharing my experience and my story has helped you if you are uh, struggling with losing a lot of hair at the moment um, I'm sending you like so much strength and like please don't feel down about yourself don't beat yourself up on it it can have so many reasons like it have for me the hormones changing in my body and I was just experiencing this whole like intense change of the hormonal balance in my body and, and this was just one of the side effects and please don't beat yourself up about it um, there is hope your hair can regrow please talk to a specialist about this please talk to your hairdresser they can like really consult you in what hairstyles will help with that please talk like to your doctor if you think that this might have a bigger reason than just like dietary or like with me hormonal reasons and yeah i really hope this video was interesting for you and that i could somehow help you and even if it was just me talking about that i have gone through this um, that i had like taken the measure of getting its extensions because i was feeling so insecure about the way that my hair would look at my wedding and that i'm chopping it off now because let's be honest this is not pretty i really hope you enjoyed this video um, i would love for you to subscribe if you want to see my results on the regain test and all of my other uh, in-depth analysis on what i'm going to like put to the test next my name is aline i would love for you to join the family subscribe to my channel if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and i will see you very soon on my channel bye